this is Irma Grego from Senior Perspective. Tonight we're going to be talking about some more of the disappearing villages in Peters Township. And this time it's going to be the village of McMurray. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of history of it some time ago. Uh, McMurray was a village a mile south of Thompsonville. Around 1830 there was a woolen mill, a blacksmith shop, and four dwellings. Later a grist mill was built on this location. Also, a post office was in this area. In 1900, the McMurray Telephone Company was created by five men, James McMurray, Mr. Camp, Dr. W. W. Wingant, A. J. Thomas, and A. B. Brown. At that time, the McMurray Telephone Company consisted of five telephones. Wow. <laughs> by 1915, Joe McMurray took over the company. And in 1932, he sold the company to Bell Telephone. Then we had a big increase, up to 550 telephones. The location for uh, 25 years was on a corner next to Joe McMurray's residence. At a very early time, there was a pottery located near the house of Harvey McMurray, which was run by a man named Bracken. The clay used for the pottery came from the property of John McClooney, which was a short distance east of the pottery. The flour mill was located at the corner of McMurray and Valley Brook Road. This, these mills were powered by water power. The water came from an old dam which was near the old Boy Scout cabin. My guests will have more information uh, on this subject later on in the show. Right now I would like to introduce my guests. Right next to me is Helen Baird Matus and then Tom McMurray. Bob Matthews, Walter Zeke Long, and last but not least, Jean McMurray Hutchison. So who wants to start with the uh, conversation here? Um, let's start with a McMurray. Which one of you two McMurrays want to do something? <laughs> Tom, how about no, let's you? let's pass it along to Jean. You pass it on to Jean? <laughs> Well, Jean, you used to live on Bell Drive. Well, first of all, you were telling me you lived over on, what, Thomas Road? Thomas Road. Thomas Road. Well, tell me a little bit about that. <clears throat> Walked to school for 12 years. Where did you walk to? Uh, Thomas Road and up McMurray Road to the old high school, which was 12 years. Did you go there for first grade? First grade through 12. Oh, yeah. they didn't have the one-room school up there on Thomas Road no, then? No, not when I went to school. Uh -huh. It's gone by that time. You were saying that the house you lived in was the what is now known as the Lutz. Lutz oh, I didn't. The house that I was born is now West Lutz house. Was further up Thomas Road. I didn't walk from there to school. I was going to say that's no. an awful long way to walk. I walked from Uncle Will's house, Will McMurray's house, which was. I was going to say you'd be pretty tired Colonial walking Manor. All that way. Colonial Manor. I don't know what they call it. Huh? <laughs> So what the, the easy way to get home in the winter time was to go under the bridge through the creek. It, under the when bridge? it had ice, yes. At, <laughs> when it at had McMurray. Ice. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So to get to where you were at which Will, house are you talking about now? It's no longer there. It's where the new homes are built on Thomas Road on the left. Oh. Chris Hodenshield's house. Chris Hodenshield's house. Oh, Chris Hodenshield's house. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And George Clark. And George Clark. Yeah. Okay. Perry Knoll. Colony Manor. Colony Manor. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Bob, you should have a lot of memories of uh, McMurray. Well, I guess I did. I don't know. <laughs> I went one year to school in, in Thompsonville, and we lived down there. I worked in the Austin Wright's old house. Oh. It's Where was on. that? all gone now. Yeah, but where was it? Well, they it? built that big uh, house and paved the road in front of it. On the uh, do I know old Washington. Three, three, four, about four or five houses up. But I only went there one year. Oh. Yeah, came from oh, was that that school that was way up on a hill that nobody remembers about? <laughs> That's McMurray School. No, George's place? Bill George or something? That's long years ago. Long My years. father went there to school. Yeah, I don't remember that. That's much. long years ago, across from the high school. Yeah, see, I didn't even know about that school yeah. until I did the schools. <laughs> so, but, and then you moved to where? 
uh, on the right. Matthew farm? Yes. Mm -hmm. I had a long ways to walk there, up the hill and down and over. Yeah. <laughs> right to the uh, Murray High School. It was kindergarten through 12. Right. Mm -hmm. That was a big move for us to go yeah. from a one room school to. Because I watched the building at that uh, high school too. Ray Holler and when Bobby some of us Hayes were born. Of course. The uh, scoop had two handles on it behind a team mm. of horses. And they, that's how you they dug it out. Me. That's how they dug it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. That I, what a difference now. Huh? Then I went to that school from second grade all the way through 12. Mm hmm. So, Tom, what can you give us? Well, my memories are a lot, lot newer than that because I went to McMurray Elementary for all my, for my elementary and then graduated from the, the high school. Ours was the last class in 1968 to graduate from there. Oh. So uh -huh. my memories are a little bit newer than that. Newer, yeah. Okay, we'll come back to you then. <laughs> Helen, what can you tell us? Talking about schools, it's, I went to the, a picture that'll be on here of the high school where you go from first grade through 12 and I lived right across the street from it, so I could go home in steady hall and you grab a bite to eat or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I graduated from that high school, and my uncle, that was John L. Baird, he was uh, the president of the board, uh, the school board directors, and he reached me my diploma. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, you used to live, though, over by the Thompsonville School, though. Over, no, Donaldson's Crossroads. Hey, Donaldson's I'm in Donaldson, I'm sorry, Pleasant Valley School. In that home, yeah. they burned it down. It mm -hmm. was right next to the uh, fire department that is now. Mm -hmm. and, but in the uh, early 30s is when my father built a house right across from the school. And it was the first home on the right-hand side, all up along East McMurray Road. And we had, uh, Will McMurray had property there that he, uh, mode for hay shocks. We had hay shocks at night that we kids, there was five in our family, and when it started getting dusk, we'd go out and play behind the hay shocks. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of memories. Yeah, I'm there. sure you probably knocked a few over. Which the <laughs> principal that we all knew was E. Paul Day. He yeah, was, I think we all had Mr. Day. He was principal. A lovely principal. Mm -hmm. so, um, Bob, uh, whenever you, uh, well, your house, you could see over to the school, right, direct across yeah. from over to the school. My house, but not the old farmhouse. So. Not, you couldn't? Uh, uh, the barn set up on top of the hill. Okay. And the house was down there. Yeah, when we were taking some pictures of the area now, we just couldn't quite locate, your sister couldn't quite locate where the barn and the house was. Uh, yeah. So it's there on Friar Lane somewhere there then. Yeah, well the house was down there where the uh, uh, Duckworth, uh, Duckworth's owned it now. Gary and Carol. Is that where your house was? Yeah. yeah. Oh. And then you went up that road there, I don't know what the name of it is. Abington. Right? Abington and the top of the hill is where the barn was. By the Manser. It's where the Manse is now. Yeah. Yeah. St. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. For St. Benedict's. Yeah, all that land was ours at one time. Once yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. So, well, Zeke, what can, can you add in on some of that then? Oh, uh, not a heck of a lot, I guess. I, I was a newcomer. I think we moved out here in it was either 37 or 38. Mm -hmm. So, other than going to school and <clears throat> Excuse me. I do remember we, Al Seabacher and I ran a trap line down on the creek in McMurray until we met up with a skunk one day. <laughs> Happy day threw us out, <laughs> made us go home. I have a feeling the skunk won. <laughs> the skunk won. And then we had a, they talked about the old dam above the mill. Well, it was gone when we moved out here. But there was a big swimming hole up there, a big <coughs> opening in the creek where it was fairly deep, about four or five feet deep. And I, you know, we used to go swimming down there. Mm -hmm. And Helen used to go swimming down there. Helen <laughs> did? Yes, Helen did. Yeah, we, we took a walk once around the Scott cabin. 
Yeah. Uh, I remember you and I. Uh, <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Did you forget that? My memory's gone. <laughs> He's probably saying thanks. <laughs> yeah. Gene, is that the same swimming hole you were talking about? Yes, uh, mm -hmm. it was behind the Boy Scout cabin. Yeah. Between the Boy Scout and Valley Brook Road. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, my mm -hmm. brother used to take our dog down and put the dog on one bank and go over in the other bank and call it across so it would swim across. <laughs> but yes, the boys all swam down there. Swan, the mud was about two feet deep. Yeah. <laughs> that was so you dive off. You dive off the top in your hand. You're just stuck in the mud. Stuck in the mud. <laughs> Didn't get hurt though. No bricks. No, no, no concrete. Yeah. <laughs> well, you had a soft landing there. Yes. Uh -huh. So. Um, well, I knew mostly about all the schools too. My mother taught at Wright School, and she taught at Turkey Foot School. Oh, at Wright School. Yeah, that's right the corner. Of yeah, I know. Sugar I went there. Oh, did you? Uh -huh. I had Miss Patterson. Who'd I have? For? That must Patterson. have been your mother. I had for a teacher, maybe then. Probably. So they ran the corner of Brookwood and uh, Sugar Camp Sugar Road. Sugar Camp, yeah. yeah. That house. It's. You know, we used to live on Thompsonville Road, and mm -hmm. we had to walk from Thompsonville Road all the way over to Wright School, and uh, that was quite a distance. <laughs> You have to leave at midnight, wouldn't you? Yeah, just about. <laughs> but uh, we, uh, we didn't, I didn't go there too long. Then we moved mm -hmm. into Coriopolis, and then we came back about well, six or seven months later. Daddy said he didn't want to work for anybody. He wanted to work for himself. So and that's when we moved over onto Just About. And uh, then I went up to Bower Hill School then. So I started first grade twice. <laughs> Don't forget to mention it was your father, Bob, that the math in our high school. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, he was and math Latin. teacher. And Latin. And Latin. Latin. And principal. <laughs> he was a principal oh, well, in Venetia. principal in Venetia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was a real good teacher. I mean, we we yeah, all liked him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> well, if I didn't get my lesson done for the day, and <laughs> he found out about it, why? <laughs> Couple, he just he just bawled me out usually. Never did. He never hit me. Mm -hmm. um, I think in those days, uh, a word from your father carried was, a lot of weight. Yes, it carried a lot of weight. Just just the word. Mm -hmm. You knew you were in trouble. I know my mother. All she had to do was look at us, and we knew that we better straighten up. <laughs> and it's, um, Okay, Tom, I think it's about time that we get some things, some memories out of you now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, Anything in particular that... Uh... Well, some of the, um, how, from what they have said and how the McMurray Road has changed and all that. I mean, have you, uh, when you were growing up, I mean, what were some of the shenanigans you did? <laughs> I never did any. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're a son of your dad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I've heard. <laughs> Maybe one of the, the things that, that you all could help with is on the uh, Protective Farm Fair. That was always Ooh, a big yeah. thing. Protective oh, Association, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a big time. Yeah, they held it up at the high school. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, back of uh, where the uh, old library, well, where the ambulance is now. Yeah, it used to be right in the high school, it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the but out in the field, too. We and used out to in have the field, they brought the animals in, just like they knew at farm fairs. Used to start with a parade, I believe. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah up there. Then there were tractor poles and horse. And they had the horses contest. going around the barrels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They had I think there cooks. used to be a chicken cookout one of the uh, service organizations used to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the hamburgers. Just, hamburgers. Hot dogs. I know my brothers had an orange tree. I don't know where they got it or anything, but every year they brought that thing and they got first prize. It was the only one there. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got first prize on their orange tree. <laughs> so, but it had little wee oranges on it, like, you know, but they got first prize on it. So, but, um, well, let me see. The farm fair, yeah, we talked about that. Now, um, let me see. Bob, I guess maybe you could tell us more or Maybe even you, Zeke, about when the railroad siding was there, when Joe McMurray had the railroad siding. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what can you tell us about that? Unloading the big bags of fertilizer. Oh, yeah, lime. Lime. Lime fertilizer. and fertilizer. That's where we used to go to get our 
yeah. at the siding there. Mm -hmm. I think he gave us about 50 cents a day or something to do that. <laughs> Sometimes he didn't give us anything. Yeah. Well. The, there was, um, and then the mill too. I mean, mm -hmm. it was in operation till, what do my notes say here? I think it was what? When was 30 it? sometime. Early 30s. Oh, I don't have a date for that when it was uh, yeah. done. But, I don't uh, remember whether it was still working when we played in there or not. It wasn't when we did. I think it stopped by that time. Will still lived there. Yeah, lived you, across the road. You uh, crawled up so they were about that wide. <laughs> and... Uh, he, he didn't like anybody playing in there because they're liable to fall down and get hurt. Yeah. <coughs> the floor's hard. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know yeah, we used to bring our uh, our wheat there and have the have it ground up for chicken feed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that you know, also. But, uh, it must have been in the '30s sometime. Yeah. You guys going to talk about how the dairy bars changed over the years? Oh, the yes, that's a subject in sure. itself. <laughs> you mean the good old days? Yeah. I think the three of us probably remember uh, Zeke and Bob and I when it was a penny candy store. I don't think Outside you remember that. Had Outside, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, you. Yeah, Gene, you would remember yeah. that too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you go down and get penny candy there? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You're talking about the hole in the floor on the uh, stove oh. that used to be down there? It used to be a big square thing, about as big as one of these things, the, uh, the register for the furnace. The furnace was right down underneath there and it came up that hole. We used to sit there and spit on it. Tobacco juice. <laughs> Tobacco juice. It would, oh, it would stink up the place. That's why they have the hazardous waste people come in when they tore it down and yeah. clean all the That's dirt. Why. Yeah. That's Probably. why. <laughs> I can remember in the summertime we used to walk down Sunday afternoon when parents had to have their afternoon nap. There wasn't anything to do. Helen, Lois, and I used to walk around the loop, which was okay at that time. But the dairy bar was always where we stopped and got a candy bar. Right. In the summertime you were very careful as to what kind of candy bar you got. Oh, <laughs> could have little critters in little critters. Little critters. Oh. <laughs> yep. He stored them for a couple of years. Well, there weren't that many people wanting candy bars in those days, so it was better to get hard candy. Then <laughs> I remember us going down there, and uh, you know how you used to see pictures of the kids with their nose pressed against the glass there to see which piece of candy you wanted. Uh, so well, that the post penny office used to moved. be there too. Huh? Post office was there yeah. for a while. In the corner, this uh, what northeast corner of the building, where they used to make ice cream at, over in that corner there? That no, it was up for the office. Where the office. office. Yeah, where the office, you know, going up steps. When we first opened over in the other side, didn't it, when the, the ice cream was there? I think when they first opened it, I have a picture of, of that. Oh, do you? Yeah. I don't know. Then they moved it back in the other corner. Mm -hmm. Well, is that where they had it then, was uh, over there first? The picture that I had had it there when they first opened it, and mm -hmm. then they moved it back by the uh, steps going upstairs. Well, I think the uh, original post office was over where the Bell Telephone building was. It was part of the building. That's what my notes down. say here, that it was over there. That was way back. That yeah. was a long time. Mm -hmm. And then it was moved over to the dairy bar yeah. section. Mm -hmm. I wish we had one there now in that area. <laughs> it makes it, I don't care for the area that our post office is located at now. It's a wind tunnel when you go to mail anything. Someday we'll have our own, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of people are hoping for that. And so, um, now, the, where the old library was, now there was an awful lot of things, changes right in through there too, so uh, who wants to pitch in on that? Gene? I can't remember. Uh, my memory's a field. <laughs> well, the municipal building was there originally where the uh, the truck yeah. garage and all that was in there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm on it. Boyd you know. Five. Or not Boyd Five. Boyd, Boyd Townsend. 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 Yeah, Boyd Townsend, Townsend. 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 had a truck uh, bus garage. Bus garage. Yeah. yeah. Then a Boy Scout cabin was built 
You fellas went on that, weren't you? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. My father put the cement between the, all the logs down there. Yeah. And then he uh, helped when he showed the boys how to put on different bandages. A lot of the men in the area took part with the boys, scouts. George Clark helped them, showed them how to use uh, guns and hunt for crows. <laughs> and my brother camped out one night with uh, Bill McMurray, the one that's in Friendship Center now. And um, they, he had his dog with him. He had a little black and white bulldog. You remember that dog, Gene? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he had. Mm -hmm. And they, something, it heard a noise. And they run, the dog run out to bark and all, and they made a big noise and the tent come down on them. And <laughs> so whoever was in charge that night, they had to make, they make hot chocolate before they went to bed at night for the boys. But they, the, the pan that with the hot chocolate in, that was Bill, Bill's and Bud's, my brother Bud, that was their job to scour that pan out the next morning <laughs> when they got up for punishment because they made so much noise the night before going to bed. Well, you mean they burnt the hot chocolate? Yeah, they burnt the oh, boy. pan and burnt <laughs> They had to clean. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, there's a lot of wonderful memories. And they had their, uh, de their dens down there, and patrols, different patrols. They had like a second shelf in that uh, scout cabin they all were. around, up inside. Yeah. Were you ever wow. in it? Yeah. Yeah, we hated to see that tore down yeah. because it was a real masterpiece. They had the big stone fireplace. Yeah. Oh, that was a beautiful fireplace. Yeah, a beautiful yeah. building all the way around and mm -hmm. in, a, in a lovely setting for a Scott cabin. It's, oh, yeah. Do you know where the uh, voting place was? You tell me. I'll see if you uh, tell me the truth or not. <laughs> Underneath the store. Uh huh? That's right. Under I the store. Wow. Had garage doors. The old dairy there. bar. Mm -hmm. The polling place. I don't remember. Yeah. It. I remember it being in the uh, where they used to keep the uh, the township trucks and that. Well, that was in the building beside it. Okay. Aljo's garage Aljo's was there. Yeah. That was up the road further. No. No, no they had one. It was down right there. Oh. Right below. Was that down below the road? Yeah. yeah. He always hmm. went back and forth the road to work. And that but, used to be old nineteen. Uh, going past on East McMurray Road. It used to be Route 19. We have more traffic now than what we did then. <laughs> but we had uh, big trucks, FJ Crest boxes, traveled that road. And one time they had a strike, and there was uh, one of the fellows was, what do they call him, a scab driver? Mm. And they were driving a truck, and someone up on down at our new intersection where the trail walks, goes across. Uh, the uh, abutment that they took out of there, well, somebody was up on that trail, and they jumped down on the big truck and got into the driver. The truck wrecked, and there was coconuts in that all over the road from the produce that the truck was hauling. That's, I know because my brothers, I had three of them, and they run down, got coconuts, and brought home. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It used to be a used to be a recommend an old bridge of it, about once a week every Saturday night or sometime. Mm -hmm. And uh, one time at Coca, no, ginger ale, Canadian Canada Dry ginger ale truck went by and tipped over right into the creek. Uh oh, we all got all the pop we wanted. All we wanted. <laughs> you were there at the right time for that yeah. then. <laughs> Mm. And we, we could lay out on our lawn right across from the, what is now the middle school and at night we'd take the blankets out there and lay out on the lawn till 11, 12 o'clock. We'd never think of doing that now, but at that time it was country. Mm. I think the young people now would be interested in knowing that at one time we could sled ride from the high school down past the dairy bar. Uh, well, it used the, to be the high school. Where the used middle to be school, the high yeah, school, yeah. now the middle school, correct? Mm -hmm. And there weren't any cars came by, and there was lots of snow on the road. They didn't, <laughs> they didn't plow it, and they didn't salt it, and they didn't do whatever. And everybody stayed home when it 
when it was bad. Yeah. Didn't Norwood have the bobsled? We had a, a sled, a uh, was flyer. It flyer. Yeah. No, we had a flyer, American flyer. It, it would go further than the other kids. I'd always be <laughs> down beyond the garage in the dark by myself, <laughs> pulling the sled back pulling up. Pulling the sled back up. Well, now that we've talked about this, let's uh, see some pictures that uh, you folks have brought in. So uh, we'll turn over to that now then. Old high oh, there we go. What's that? That's a high, high school. school. Right. <laughs> Alamana. That's our honor. Uh, uh, Charlie Angermere made He was a stonemason mm -hmm. from Rankintown, and he built that mm -hmm. for World War II veterans. And that's a Model A Ford that my aunt had for years, and everybody in the Finleyville and Phoenicia area, they knew that car, and they would come up and visit us every Sunday, so people around our area got to know it. That's your home, isn't it? Yeah. Your, uh, where you grew up? Yeah, that, and we, that's got the green trim on. You recognize it? I recognize the house, uh-huh. And that's my mother and father. He was a talented man. He made the fireplace clear to the ceiling in it. Uh, and uh, he made one in John Chapman's father for him, for Harry Chapman. And he made one in the Townsend home, too. That's your present? That's our home. And in the back was the barber shop. Mm -hmm. My husband is a barber. That's the shop. That's the shop, yeah. And our ground, that's on this side of the tennis courts where the bubble mm -hmm. is. That's been there for a while. Good. Well, that was really a remodeled pig pen. <laughs> My father did his butchering in there and butchered pigs and that years ago. Okay, whose house is that? Boyd Townsend. That's Townsend. Lest Lesty. Leslie. Mm -hmm. as Lesty, is it? Lesty. 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 Lesty Townsend. L -I -S -T. Wires. And that was the bus garage that uh, Peters had him build to house the buses in. Mm -hmm. Had two buses. Yeah. That was one, and the other one was Bartram. Big right. Bartram. Mm -hmm. I, I rode on the Bartram bus. So okay. did we. Well, yeah. we rode in the same bus. Mm -hmm. That's all the young boy scouts. I think <coughs> Bill, Be uh, Bill Bell was in there. My younger brother's in the middle, Harold. Did you miss it? And mm -hmm. maybe Did you miss it that way? I don't mm -hmm. know. And they, they had a newspaper sure. at the uh, down at the scout cabin, and that's a copy of it. Yeah, and there's a picture of they the, uh, published it. What's that? Dedication. Yeah. Dedication. Oh, 1935. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my dad was in on that too. Yeah, a lot of fellas helped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that had a slate roof on, didn't it? I don't know. Yeah. Was it slate? Yeah, it was slate. That's the inside of it. Mm -hmm. Dogs came from our farm. It was pretty big. Yeah. It didn't look that big. Place. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. And yeah, what house is, is that? That looks like our house. Is that your... Uh... Looks like it. Mm-hmm. No, oh, what's I that now? I shouldn't say ours. Is that your barn? Yeah, that's a barn. That's the barn. Mm-hmm. That's the orchard thing. right there. Oh, okay. Now there's our there's our famous corner. <laughs> oh downtown. yes, that's, that's downtown a good McMurray. Picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's the old mill, and that's the barn over there from uh, where the telephone office used to be. Then. Yep. Peter's Creek Church. Peter's Creek Church. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the old church. Yeah. Okay, now that's the corner there of uh, what I had said of what McMurray and uh, Valley Brook Road, where the mill was, and where all that is. Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. <laughs> Okay, now then we can talk about some of that stuff that we had seen. And, uh, you know, when we were walking around, we mentioned about Hen Yates. What can you guys tell us about Hen Yates? He was, a, he was the only police officer in 
Peter's Township. 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 For the whole township. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. If you want help, you call somebody else. Yes. <laughs> call the state police. Call the state police. Yes, son Bobby. And Bobby had a oh, yeah. pony, a blind mm -hmm. pony. Yeah. Midnight. Blind. Midnight. 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 Mm -hmm. It would come up in our cornfields at night to get the corn. <laughs> Do you remember any of that, Tom? Oh, no. No? <laughs> no. Not before no. my time. Bobby's before daughter. Your time. <laughs> a lot of people don't know it, but Bobby's daughter. Her name is Becky, and she works at Eaton Park. She's a waitress at Eaton Park. Oh, is she? I remember her, and she's just a little girl riding the pony. The one here in the in oh, Peterson. In Peterson. Peterson. Well, we used to have a, a dam right across from their house, across the road. Not a dam, a pond. A we, pond. We ice skated. Ice skated. Yeah. We burned rubber tires. Burned rubber more. tires. Right. We'd be black when we went home. <laughs> And in the winter time, if you wanted to make ice cream, you went down there and cut out a piece of ice. Yeah. And made your when homemade not, ice cream. It's when we're not all dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another one we didn't mention was the first photographer in McMurray. That was Bob Smith. He lived down where in the area where Leslie's live now. Oh uh, yeah. He Next would uh, come up and take our children's pictures, and then hang. He wanted them hung up in the barber shop for publicity for him. <laughs> so. So, okay, how can we get you in on this now, Tom? We've got to get you in here somewhere. Oh, I'm doing fine, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, give us some of your memories now, then. I think I hit a few of them there. Because um, your family's been here a long time. Your grandparents? Yes. I remember um, them. Yeah, my grandfather grew up on... Uh, up near where Gene was, up beyond that, up on West Lutz's farm, mm -hmm. up there. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That house is still standing, of course. Mm-hmm. And did, uh, was Murray. it? Hmm? Next to Glenn McMurray. Mm-hmm. Was it your father that used to sell seeds or something for I.W. Your grandfather, grandfather sold. Did, sold worked for I.W. Scott. For I.W. Scott. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Robert, and then he had a son, Robert. No, that was Wallace. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. What did he do? Work Wallace. For I. W. Scott. Wallace. Wallace McMurray. Wallace when it sold uh, gravely tractors and seeds and worked for Scott. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. yeah, his son. That I know your uh, yeah. worked for the phone company. It was Bob. your grandfather oh, then. Mm -hmm. Bob. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Well, that was your uh, at the schools for about thirty years. Mm -hmm. Right. Dorothy. Dorothy. Yeah. That's right. Bob and my brother was in school together. One day my mother, my brother had a white suit on at school. All white. <laughs> she looked across the road and there was a fight going on out in the ball field, which was all dust at that time. And then she called E. Paul Day and told him he better get out there. And when he, when they went out, it was my brother and his father fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, uh, you know, I know. <laughs> well, I know we had. Gee, I don't know what happened to that picture, but um, with the I. W. Scott sign <clears throat> and in a pepper field, <laughs> and my brothers are holding these great big peppers, uh, you know, for advertisement for I. W. Scott. <laughs> so, well, let me see. We've t we've touched the dairy bar. Um, the, that pond, and uh, um, there's a there used to be tennis courts up at uh, Bill, Bill McMurray's Murray. house. Yeah, Murray's house, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was the if you were a good friend, you got to go and play tennis. <laughs> Another thing, my mother lived there with them, Joe and Nanny McMurray. She when she was a telephone operator, she stayed there through the week, and then would find a way home on weekends. Well, that's where the telephone office was, wasn't it? Uh, was Bob? handy up there. Mm -hmm. Where yeah, the tennis court was. That was the first one. The first, the first one, yeah. And then the other one was down below. And then below. That's when Bill, when Bell Telephone took it over, then it was across the street. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, it was mm -hmm. already across. <laughs> You were too little to know anything about that. <laughs> no, but that's where my father and mother met. My father worked as a guard up at Morganza, and 
he came out, there was a runaway, so he came out looking in di different areas and he noticed uh, their light was on there in that building and he knocked on the door and they hollered out the upper window and, they, and he said for them not to open their doors to anyone because there was a runaway up at Morganza. It, uh, that's where Western State is now. Mm -hmm. And that's then they got to talking with phone numbers and that's how they got acquainted. So you three over there look like you're really thinking of something. What are you going to come up with? I was just thinking some of the good conversations I had on that old phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's yeah, a I was, line, remember? Yeah, 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 I was a telephone remember. operator <laughs> and I heard yeah, some were. good ones. <laughs> mm, an anime. Yes. My sister. My Ruth sister Ma worked Ruth there too. McCombs. Yeah. Ruth McCombs. Grace Douglas. Virginia. Yeah. Virginia McCombs. Martha Lattimore. Martha Lattimore. Anna May. Anna May. Anna May. Anna May. Mm -hmm. so. Anna May rode her horse all the time. Yeah. And my sister Kept rode her bike barn. down <laughs> to work. Yeah, so. well, when we worked there originally, then that's what I'd really like to have is a phone book from when I worked there. Because basically you knew everybody that lived in McMurray at that time. And you, if you didn't know, somebody else there knew. And if you moved in, you found out where they lived. And by the phone calls that would come in, that's the new person. Yeah. It was really interesting, and it would be nice to have a phone directory from then, which would have been in the early, well, late 40s for me. But it was, you know, the. To think that you knew everybody you now, knew everybody. I have a problem knowing my next door neighbor almost. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I remember we had the party line. I think there was like four or five people on this oh, party yeah. line. Oh, yeah. Ours was a long and a short. And <laughs> when that rang with it, just whenever it rang, you picked it up and answered whether it was yours or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had a private line, and it was the number was 75 for years. It was just 75 was our phone number. And then later years, they changed it to 5-5. Five, five. It was called Wilson at one time. Wilson yeah. when was. When first came to I think ours was 4-5. Ours was 5-8-M. 1-5-J. What was it? One ring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember, well, I was, well, this was when I was married in uh, 49, so. I used to call my mother and I'd just have to ring, mine was a long and two shorts and hers was a long and a short. <laughs> so I'd just have to ring a long and a short and I'd call my mom every morning. You know uh, what your neighbors were doing that way. Yeah. I was going through things the other day and my father had sent my mother when they were just knowing, beginning to know each other. And he sent her a little card about that big and it had a red ribbon on it and then you opened it up it must have been Christmas time, and you opened it up, and he had his phone number on the inside of it. That's all. <laughs> just, just his phone number. <laughs> um, okay, now we've covered that area. Now uh, let's get back to the dairy bar. I mean, it's had a lot of changes, and that. So, uh, well, I think Tom, you could get in on some of that. I can remember when it was just the before with the first edition, and then it moved into the second edition back where the gro or the uh, registers used to be. Then the last edition was in the back part. But you guys remember when it was even before that? I'm sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where the we made the ice cream. That was the original part Very there. Well. That's that's where they had the penny candy right around in there, wasn't it? Well, there was a counter there. Counter, yeah. Mm -hmm. Long counter. Mm-hmm. In fact, I think it was L-shaped, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And I couldn't believe that old man could jump over that so fast. <laughs> <laughs> you found out, didn't you? Yeah, he did. <laughs> he was spry, huh? Another he place was. we didn't mention was on up the road from us where the Cocos is now. Is it the service station up at yeah. the top of the hill? Yeah. That used to be a, a plaza up there. Shorty Bells? Shorty yeah, Bells. Shorty Bells. Yeah. And that's where Dr. Signorella had his first office in Opa Crawford. They had a hardware store oh, there. Yeah, Elf, yeah, Elf, Elf line. Yeah. yeah. You remember the, uh, what's it, Davy Lawrence uh, extension to the bridge down here? Mm hmm. We took pictures of it all. We, got, we had the uh, road department, the state road department. They were 
very much very upset uh, upset okay. by the pictures we had. That's uh -oh. what we're on the walk walkway. Walkway outside. It. Side. Across, yeah. Took them six months to put it on there. <laughs> At least we could have done it in two days. Not quite. Well, I think now we're going to show some pictures of uh, Will of the way McMurray is today, and uh, we'll see some of the. Well, they, they're supposed to be improvements <laughs> of McMurray. So you'll have to... Um, That's over on Fire Lane, up beyond where Bob's farm used to be, where your house was, mm -hmm. where up beyond Duckworth. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's Fire Lane. No That's way. Fire Lane there. That tree looks familiar. That's up on Fire Lane too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think so. Is that near where Duckworth's house is? No. Mm, somewhere around there. St. Benedict's sign. Well, there's the uh, St. Benedict's sign. There's some more homes. <clears throat> that's the parking lot. Oh, that's the parking lot for uh, St. Benedict's, and that's yeah. the, um, the scene. It's hooking up where you're. Barn used to be right on top of that hill, yeah, right on top of the knob. Is that where it used to be? Right yeah. there. Where the priest's house is? Yeah. That's where the barn used to be. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So that's the that's our <clears throat> new addition under the church there. I don't know what that That's is. sort of like an aerial view. Part of the church. Yeah. Oh, is it? The entrance. Hmm. Okay, what do we got here? Looks like a lawn. A what? A lawn. A lawn. <laughs> looks like that's a going up beyond yeah. the VFW, going up towards the uh, walk oh, on yes. the trail. Yeah, that's right. Fifteen foot alley behind our place, huh? Where the tennis and courts are. That's McMurray Road. That's uh, down by the VFW a lot, looking over towards St. Benedict. Oh, okay. Oh, is that Valley Brook, yeah, where the pond was? Yeah. Oh, that's Valley Brook. To the right there, of that. Then. Well, uh -huh. and that's the part of the Yates, what used to be Yates house there. Yeah. Yeah. They wouldn't give him a building permit, so he did a repair job. He built the porch and then <laughs> tore the house down and built the house. <laughs> There's our big intersection. Disgusting. <laughs> That's the new dairy bar. Watch you don't get hit. Huh? Yeah. Do you remember oh. the uh, supervisors back then when we were younger? Yep. Yeah, I knew one of them. Most spies. And <laughs> anybody oh, else? There's the uh, there's the old that's the old dairy bar there now. There's where they're, oh, they're taking it apart. That's Gary tearing That's, it apart. Yeah. <laughs> where they're tearing it down. June 9th. There goes a lot of memories. I think everybody who went to school up at the high school, or grade school even, would remember the dairy bar and mm -hmm. things that happened there. Yeah. They would walk down at lunchtime. Mm -hmm. bad time. What's that? Steel candy. Mm -hmm. Steel candy and bad rice. Time. That's the back of the VFW, looking over towards it from up towards Bebout Road. Oh, yeah. Hey, there's, there's our the new bridge. Away. When I saw that, I thought, oh, my God. That's where the telephone companies used yeah, to be. Yeah, used to be. I thought, how's that thing ever going to stand up? <laughs> it was so long. <laughs> Pretty good sized beams. That's the VFW there, isn't it? No. No, that's no. down at the where the drugstore oh, is. Oh, that's where the mill used the to intersection. be. They made a lovely intersection there, didn't they? I think it turned out real nice. Mm -hmm. That's where the, the pizza place is up there. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. And we have a dentist, Dr. Craw, K R A H, right handy down there. Beside the pizza place. Oh, is there? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Nice What's to that? have them close to home. You get okay. a toothache and get down there in a hurry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's that at? 
Oh, there's that's a, Bill's that's house. That's Bill's house. house. Jimmy. Yeah. That's where they have the hike and bike in his garage. Yeah. <coughs> this is not a hike and bike anymore. No. no. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. The garage is actually that uh, cafe. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. The garage. Is, there's where the siding used to be. McMurray I Supply. Herman yeah, Bennett. Yeah, and McMurray Supply. Yeah, Herman Bennett run it. And what's That's where we got our it's a brick on the barber shop. Mm -hmm. Herman. Mm -hmm. That's I bought all my lumber building. when I was building a house there. That's where our lumber came from too. Yeah. We got a lot of lumber from there too. Mm -hmm. And that's the uh auto parts. Our, that's on Valley Vulcans. Mm -hmm. Used to be Vulcans. Vulcans. What? It used to be Vulcans. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. They took that picture with the the old high school, an old old high school, used to be where Peter Township bought it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yes. It was a one room. One room. Yes. One room high school. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then it moved aunt. over to where uh, it's at. Where right, um, underneath the bridge. Underneath the underpass on mm -hmm. Beba. Well, my aunt was the first graduate of Peter's Township. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh, what was her name, Bob? Emily Clements now. Emily. Mm -hmm. And Mary mm -hmm. Patterson. Oh. The oh. two of them were in the graduate. same year. Yeah, they graduated from. Mm-hmm. That's the that's the new library. Yeah. Been a lot of improvements on. Uh, if you call, you know. That's where Doc Townsend's old barn used to be, with a new one. Oh yeah. We're there. Bus garage. Mm -hmm. Bus garage. Um. <coughs> that picture with the, the Model T Ford that you saw before in the background was Frank Sanner's house, and he used to be the give out the permits. If you wanted to build a house in Peters, you'd have to go see him first. Yeah. That's the middle school there. Which was our too. high school, yeah. and grade school. All the eggs too. Yeah. yeah. Brought them in from Ohio. Yeah. Wooster. Wooster, Ohio. <coughs> Some of them were spotted. Oh. That's our mailbox. <laughs> oh yeah. boy. Now we know your house number. Yeah. <laughs> My husband's down to just a few customers now. I mean, some of the older ones still come to get his hair cut after. Mm -hmm. I don't know, all this commercial for George, he's going to be busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not taking any new customers now. <laughs> That's the new elementary over there. To think that at one time, one building served all of us, you know, the whole township, and now look what we've got. So it's really grown a lot. My class had 27 students oh. when I graduated. We had 21. And you had 21. And we had 22. <laughs> Bob, how many did you have? 20. 20. 24 or 25, I think. And Tom? Oh, how many do you I have? probably had as many in my class as you did in your whole school at that time. Yeah. <laughs> We'd have bought probably 140, 150. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Really? That's, right. that's the original that's farmhouse mm -hmm. where Elizabeth Bell McMurray lived in that yeah. original. Oh, yeah. It was the farmhouse. And she always had her table. Her husband died. I never remember him, but she always had her table set for two people. I'd go up and see in their kitchen. There'd be two places there. Oh. They remodeled that barn behind it into, into a house. Levi. Where is that? Yeah, yeah. the picture. Oh, the way in the back there. Uh, yeah. Where Jean grew up. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's where Jean lived. Yeah. Doesn't look the same as one. No. Not exactly. No. No. <laughs> That's Bell Drive then? Yeah, that's going yeah. down past the Bell Telephone Place mm -hmm. building. 
at the bus cross. What's what's that? That's Charlie McMurray. That's Charlie McMurray's house. Yeah, they just sold it just the last couple of weeks. And we're back. Yeah. So, uh, so is there anything that uh, any of you can add about something that is there now that wasn't before or something that? Uh, There's a lot, of, a lot of things. A lot of things, yeah. yeah. Shorty Bells, we didn't talk too much about his gas station. He sold, what kind of gas did he sell? Golf. Golf. Mm -hmm. And then on up the road was Bob Gillespie's. Yeah. Sunoco. Sunoco. That's where I used to go to wait for the bus when I worked in town. And uh, <laughs> we got, the whole group of us got together, we were riding the bus together, and uh, they would call me from Cannonsburg, and they'd say, okay, Irma, you can start riding up, because we'll be there in a little bit. <laughs> so I'd jump in my car, and away we'd run, I'd run up to Gillespie's, and the bus would be coming up the road, or they'd be seeing me coming up, and say, wait a minute, wait a minute, here she comes. <laughs> And the Blue Ridge bus that lines was the Blue Ridge. from Pittsburgh service star road then. Mm -hmm. You could get on it and ride to Cannonsburg for 10 cents, right, Gene? And we'd go Correct. to the movie for 12 cents. Quarter. Pittsburgh for a quarter time. Yeah. Then that bus well, drove clear through to Hagerstown, Maryland. But more in recent years, then they cut Hagerstown out and they only went as far as Washington, PA. Yeah. So you're where, also quiet. Yeah, where the law office is, right across the street from us. There, it used to belong to Dwight Carpenter, and he was a mechanic for the Blue Ridge bus lines. He was. He wanted to build, when he retired, he wanted to build a garage on the back of his property next to the school driveway, but it was all residential then. They didn't permit it. So he closed out in this area and went to Florida. Mr. Aljo had... Uh, Worked. Did he have a garage? He had a garage. He had a garage at there, Dairy yeah. Bar. Well, he had one on McMurray Road. He had one there on McMurray right Road. Right. Yeah. So called garage. <laughs> and then there was it that white block building? <laughs> for the zoning change. Yeah. His wife sold flowers out at the road. They took him into Pittsburgh to the market to sell oh, yeah. flowers, mm -hmm. vegetables. He was a wonderful mechanic. I mean, he kept our equipment all going. Yeah. You could listen to a motor and say, tell you what's wrong with it. That's right. And his corn cob pipe. Five minutes. Yeah. yeah. That's right. He had one. He burnt more, he smoked more matches than he did. <laughs> 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 um, I guess everybody did that. <laughs> there was a family up the road named Charles Stunkard later years. and. Mm -hmm. Stevenson's too. <coughs> Stevenson. Stevenson. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Ryman. Sorry, beside Ryman. Charlie Ryman and yeah, and then Morris. Stevenson was the uh, father. Father-in-law. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was Morrow. Morrow. Yeah, Phil Morrow. Morrow. Mm -hmm. So now we're getting up into your territory there, Tom. Yes, it is. <laughs> getting close. Getting close. <laughs> so. Yeah, Perry we Nall, he used to live, he built the home, my dad plastered it for him, the, where the nursing home is now in McMurray, our home it's called. <coughs> Perry Nall, and he ran a restaurant in Pittsburgh, he and his wife, they went to the restaurant every day. Well, it was Paul Day's son lived there for a while too. Didn't yeah, it? later years. So as you drive in, drive into the garage and we had a Perry had a turn turn around. Around. Yeah. turntable in his Press garage. Press a button and right. turn around and the car's ready to go again. Yeah. What? He had a turn yeah. around, like a round wheel yeah. on the ground. And he'd drive in. And park the car on there. Park the, on that. And then he, when he wanted to leave again, he'd press a button and turn the car around Just and go out the door. Instead of backing out, you pulled out. Yeah. You pulled in and pulled out. Well, that's yeah. pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> and Frank Sanner had a shuffleboard court in the back of his lot, and he had it lit up covered it with straw in the winter time so that it wouldn't crack the cement. But we played shuffleboard out there different times. Any, anything else? Well, we didn't mention Elmer Dickey's house. 
It was yeah. down, he built it. Yeah. And it was down where the municipal yeah. building is now. Was no, it? it used to be the, uh, where the library is now. The old administration. No, the old library. Yeah. The administration the old building. Administration, yeah. administration yeah. building. School. Not First the library. library. That, yeah, that was yeah. where that White House was. <laughs> what was the administration building, wasn't it? They used it for storage, Elmer's house, in later years mm -hmm. for school storage. Years, yeah. Yeah. That's where the first library was in the basement of that, then it became the school administration right. building for years. Yeah, that's practically a new house, though. Yeah. Elmer's house. Yeah, that's one of the uh, newer ones there. Yeah. Elmer Dickey's? Yeah. Yeah, it was newer than... Uh, it's newer then, but it isn't there at all now. Oh, no, it's gone. <laughs> no, we're not about so, <laughs> I wanted to be sure. I thought <laughs> go down. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> but my grandchildren would ask if we rode in horse and buggies, and please let it be known we did not ride in horse and buggies. <laughs> we're not that old. <laughs> but my mother and father did. We're not that old. <laughs> they skated on the Veneman Pond. <laughs> and Bub Hayes, and with the older Hayes fella, was Dad's age. They used to skate together. Things were so nice and safe back then. Because oh, when yeah. I think about how many times we went out by ourselves to go visit, go to a girlfriend's house, which would be half a mile away, and never thought about it. The difference of life now well, to Winnow. We could well, even walk kids. safely. We could walk yeah, anywhere. Yeah. Right, yeah. we walked anywhere. We used well. to go out back and up the alleyway to, to right. visit Lois or your place. It was across from right. Lois Bells. Mm. Well, it was nothing for us to walk, like from just about all the way down to McMurray Road. I yeah. mean, you know, and you don't dare do that today. And that's so. Uh, well, I'd like to thank my guests very, very much for all the interesting information that you have given us. And this time again, Jean McMurray, uh, Walter Long, Bob Matthews, Tom McMurray, and Helen Matus. And I'd like to thank you all very much for being here and giving us all these pleasant memories for us to be aware of and to think about and to, well, people will reminisce and think about all these wonderful things that we have done and that and where we've come to. So um, this is Irma Grego from Senior Perspective. So th uh, this will just about, we have one more series on the uh, villages of uh, Peters Township and uh, then this series will be through. So uh, thank you very much for all of you being here and uh, this is Irma Grego from Senior Perspective. Oh. Thank <laughs> you.